I want you to give me an example of a linear system, so two linear equations that would represent an infinite number of solutions for the first one, two linear equations that would represent no solution, and two that would represent one solution. So the first one is an example of a linear system. So that's two equations that would, ha that would represent an infinite number of solutions. So if you were to graph these two lines, they would represent an infinite number of solutions. That means that their point of intersection is infinite. So what do the equations have to look like? For example, if the first equation is y equals 2x plus 8 and the second equation is the same, y equals 2x plus 8, it means it's the same line. I want you to give me an example. That was too easy. I want you to give me an example. Um, I want you to rewrite the equation differently, but I want you to give me an equivalent linear equation, something that's equivalent to this, that's equal, but just not, it doesn't look exactly the same, but it's equivalent. So think about what you could do to each term to, to represent it differently. Nathan? 2y, yep. Perfect. So if you get a question like this on your test, you have two equations, and I ask you how many solutions are there. How do you know this is going to be an infinite number of solutions? Because there's, it's the same line. They're equivalent. Okay, it's an equivalent linear equation, which means when you graph it, it's the exact same thing. There's an infinite number of solutions to this. Okay, so can someone give me an example of a linear system that would represent... Um, that would have no solutions. What does that mean? They have to have the same slope, which means they are parallel. If two lines are parallel, they'll never... A solution is the point of intersection. Don't forget that. That's the solution. If they're parallel, they're never going to cross. They never meet, which means they're going to have no point of intersection. So give me two equations that would have the same slope. Y equals term 4x plus 7 and plus 4. Why couldn't we write plus 7 for both of them? Because then that would be <laughs> infinite. That would be the same thing. Okay, so they have to have a different y-intercept. Same slope. In that case, they're parallel. They will not have a solution. They'll never meet. So for the last one, one solution it means they only have one point of intersection. And I'll give you two equations, and I want you to tell me what these equations are in slope-intercept form. So here's one, here's two, equals three. That's supposed to be a three. Okay, so I want to know what equation one is in slope-intercept form, and then equation two in slope-intercept form. Good. Y equals three X minus 5 over 2, correct? And the second equation, so it, let's do this one together. It would be negative y equals what? Negative 4x plus 3. What do I need to divide by to make negative what? One. Divide everything by negative 1. So in slope intercept form is y equals, good, 4x minus 3. So this is an example of a linear system that would have one solution.